The first 1,000 days of life are a critical period for the colonization and development of human gut microbiota. From conception to birth and beyond, we live closely with microbes that greatly affect our metabolic capacity, immune function, and microbial composition. Social patterns, dietary habits, and environmental pressure of human change alongside the rapid growth and development of a human over the course of life. These changes disrupt the diversity of our symbiotic gastrointestinal microbiota, which leads to various civilization diseases. Therefore, to understand and explore this relationship, we established the Microbiome Research Center. Lactic acid bacteria are the most important bacteria that has been used as probiotics. Our research institute has established for more than a decade and has collected thousands of lactic acid bacteria deposited in in-house culture bank. We also have established various screening platforms and have successfully developed many probiotics for human and animal applications. In recent years, more and more evidence suggests that the microbiome in our body plays an important role in human host homeostasis, health, and disease, and many specific commensal bacteria like commensal Eusinophila, Bacteroid, Fragilis was found to play important beneficial function to the host's health. This kind of commensal bacteria were so-called next-generation probiotics. The microbiome and the lactic acid bacteria application research center was established to focus on studying the relationship of microbiome and the host's health, and how the microbiome interacts with host and how to manipulate the microbiome to achieve a balanced and healthy status. The terminal goal of our center is to look for new next generation probiotics from our commensal microbiota. We have invested more than tens of millions of NT dollars. I hope Symbiotech will be the leader on this field. The term lactic acid bacteria comprise a broad group of microorganisms characterized by their ability to degrade sugar mainly into lactic acid. Lactic acid bacteria are ancient and widespread microorganisms which could be found in environments rich in carbohydrates such as plants, fermented food, and the mucosal surface of humans and animals. Lactic acid bacteria are part of a normal microflora, so they could naturally associate to the mucosal surface of gastric tract and colonize in the gut. Through interacting with our intestinal microorganisms, antagonistically and cooperatively, Lactic acid bacteria could exert their uh, health benefits on many biological outcomes. For example, lactic acid bacteria could modulate gut microbiome and result in altered hepatic lipid metabolism coupled by lowered plasma lipoprotein levels. Furthermore, modulating microbiome, lactic acid bacteria plays roles in regulation of uh, immune system, inflammation, and oxidative stress. The growth of lactic acid bacteria is associated with the uh, environment's acidification and the production of antimicrobial substances, which could prevent the proliferation of pathogens and spoilage organisms. Lactic acid bacteria intervention could modulate the production of short-term fatty acid, which could contribute to the regulation of epithelial cell proliferation and differentiation. Some lactic acid bacteria could produce gamma aminobutyrate, the relaxing effect on gut smooth muscle. Recently, with the progress of NGS, next generation sequencing technique, the compositions and the functions of gut microbiota have been revealed. Some gut microorganisms and their metabolites may lead to the disease or clinical syndromes, such as cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and even the Crohn cancer, as well as neurodegenerative disease. However, studies with similar techniques also found some of the new probiotics which are able to ameliorate or prevent the aforementioned clinical disease or syndromes. These beneficial gut microorganisms have no long history of use, but have new functions. These bacteria can support the next generation probiotics. 
contains all products from various organisms may have potential for use as medicines for disease prevention and therapy.